Let's start today's class with a joke. A math teacher to his class. If A is equals to B and B equals to C, then A equals to C. Now give me the practical example of this principle from real life. A boy gets up and answers. I love you, sir. And you love your daughter, which means I love your daughter. So what this boy did was he applied transitivity comfortably. How about you? Do you face problems in applying symmetric, reflexive and transitive in these kind of ordered pairs? If yes, today's class is for you. My name is C.A. Ramakrishnan from Math Simplified for You where we have taken a set A consisting of 1, 2 and 3 and I have listed 7 relations and we are going to check whether they are reflexive, symmetric or transitive or not. Let's start. So reflexive, what is reflexive? If a term is related to itself, then it is reflexive. That means A comma A, 1 comma 1, X comma X. So here in R1, we see 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. But the question is, have I covered each and every element of set A? Yes, it has three elements and I have listed three ordered pairs which are doublets in nature. So yes, it is. What about R2? It does not have 1, 1, it does not have 2, 2 and 3, 3. So since 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, none of them are present, it is not reflexive. What about R3? You have 2, 2, 3, 3. What about 1, 1? So 1, 1 is missing. So no, it is not. We have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Fine. This is reflexive. 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3. Well, 3, 3 is missing. So this is not reflexive either. 1, 1, fine. What about 2, 2 and 3, 3? 2, 2, 3, 3. Both of them are missing. So no. Well, you would have figured out R7 is not reflexive either. Let's start with symmetric now. What is symmetric? If A is related to B, B is related to A in the same order, same way, which means if x is related to y, y will be related to x, which means you will get two set of ordered pairs which will be reflection of each other, a, b, b, a. Then and only then you can claim symmetricity. If one of them is missing, it is not. Let's see. So 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 is symmetric as well. How? because the reflection of 1, 1 has to be 1, 1. What about this one? You have 1, 2, 2, 1, fine. But you have a 3, 1. Where is 1, 3? 1, 3 is missing. So this is not symmetric. You have 1, 2 and where is 2, 1? Oh, it's not there. I need not check anything else. Since 2, 1 is missing, it is not. So you have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, that's taken care of. You have 1, 3 and its reflection 3, 1. So yeah, this is a symmetric as well. You have 1, 1, 1, 2. Yeah, but you don't have 2, 1 here. The reflection of 1, 2. So 2, 1 is missing here also. So no, it is not symmetric. Well, <laughs> Same here, you don't have 2, 1, so it is not symmetric. How about this? So same case, you don't have 2, 1 and you also don't have 3, 1. So yeah, it is not symmetric. Now that we are done with uh, reflexive and uh, symmetric, let's see what transitivity is all about. That's the most complicated part actually. It's like if A is related to B, B is related to C, then A will be related to C in this order, which means you must have AB, BC, AC, first second, second third, first third. 
So when it is not transitive, it is not transitive if you have AB, BC, the third one is missing, or you have AB, BC, instead of having AC, you have CA, then also it is not transitive because the order of the third ordered pair is not first comma third, it is third comma first, okay? Also, there is a very special case where uh, you can claim transitivity. That is, if you have AB, but there is no BC. Yeah, that means you are failing to get the other two ordered pairs to complete transitivity. We will come across uh, this situation here. Don't worry. Let's see. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. This is transitive. Yeah. This is actually transitive. Now you have 1, 2, 2, 1. Fine. First, second. Second, third. What about first, third? 1, 1. Is it there? No, it's not there. So 1, 1 is missing. So it is not transitive. Let's start R3. So we have 1, 2. 2, 2. 1, 2. Fine, done. We have 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. Yeah, 1, 3 is missing. That means, look at this. First, second, second, third, first, third, 1, comma, 3 is missing. So since 1, comma, 3 is missing, this is not transitive. How about our 4? We have 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 3. Fine, done. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 1. Done. Fine. Then we have uh, we have what? 2, 2. Fine. That is uh, transitive in itself as I always told you. Then uh, you have 1, 3, 3, 3, 1, 3. So this is also transitive. R5. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. Fine. Done. 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, fine, done. 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 3, yeah, we have, fine. And uh, we have 1, 3. And if you notice, this does not have any other pair whose first component is 3, watch. Okay, this is actually transitive by itself. Yeah, so this is also transitive. How about this one? You have first, second, second, third, first, third, one, 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 two, again, one, two. Yeah, this is transitive. How about this one? We have a one, two, it does not have a two something. So no problem, it is transitive. One, three, again, you don't have three something. So yeah, this is also transitive. So by this, we can understand only R1, and R4 are actually equivalence. That means it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Since I have covered all possible relations using this set 1, 2 and 3, I am sure your all concerns are addressed. Having said that, I will highly recommend you to watch this video two to three times more. Take notes. You can share also with your friend. But again, I would like you to learn and teach this friend of yours or a group of friends to benefit more friends. Well, thank you very much. This is Sia Ramakrishnan from Max Simplified for you.